Thank you all. We remain standing as Pete Martin leads us in the singing of the Flowers of Manchester. And we keep standing for the reef lane. Pete, thank you. Leads the singing means you're all invited to join in. One cold and bitter Thursday in Munich, Germany. Eight great football stalwarts conceded victory. Eight men will never play again who met destruction there. The flowers of English football, the flowers of Manchester. Matt Busby's boys were flying, returning from Belgrade. This great united family are masters of their trade. The pilot of the aircraft, the skipper, Captain Thane. Three times they tried to take off and twice turned back again. The third time down the runway, disaster followed close. There was slush upon the runway and the aircraft never rose. Plowed in through the marshy ground, it broke, it overturned. And eight of the team were killed as a blazing wreckage burned. Roger Byrne and Tommy Taylor, who were capped for England's side. And Ireland's Billy Wheeler and England's Jeff Ben died. Mark Jones and Eddie Coleman and David Pegg also. They all lost their lives as it ploughed on through the snow. Big Duncan, he went to with an injury to his frame. And Ireland's great Jack Blanche Flower will never play again. The great Matt Busby lay there, the father of the team. Three long months passed by before he saw his team again. The trainer, coach and secretary and a member of the crew. Also a sporting journalist who with United flew. And one of them was Big Swifty, who we shall never forget. The finest English keeper that ever graced the net. Oh, England's finest football team, its record truly great. Its proud success is mocked by a cruel turn of fate. Eight men will never play again, who met destruction there. The flowers of English football, the flowers of Manchester. Thank you.